So these are the types of the tuning fork tests. The Rini test, Weber's test, absolute bone conduction or the ABC test, Swabax test, Gels test and the Bing test. We will be learning about each test in detail. Coming to the Rini's test. So it was proposed by Henrich Albert Rini. That is why the name indicates Rini. In this test, the air conduction is compared to that of bone conduction. The base of vibrating tuning fork is placed firmly over the mastoid process. That means behind the ear. The patient is asked to indicate when the sound disappears. Suddenly the tuning fork is placed vertically 2 cm from the external auditory canal. That means here. So in this, the Rini's test becomes positive. That means the positive Rini test indicates normal. As we have learned, air conduction will always be greater than bone conduction. So the Rini's test determine the air conduction is better than bone conduction. And the positive Rini test is normal. See, this is the procedure. This is the first step done in the Rini's test. The vibrating tuning fork is placed onto the mastoid of the patient. And after he stops knowing the vibrations, the tuning fork is placed 2 cm vertically to the external auditory canal of the same ear. And if the patient understand the vibration, it determines Rini's positive. That means air conduction is greater than bone conduction. And this is normal. See, Rini is positive meaning air conduction is greater than bone conduction. That is normal. Or it can also be seen in cases of sensory neural hearing loss. Rini negative. It is seen when the bone conduction is greater than air conduction. Or in cases of conductive hearing loss. That means when the external auditory canal are blocked, Rini is negative will appear. False negative Rini is test. In this air conduction is absent but it responds to the bone conduction and this response of bone conduction is due to transcranial transmission from the opposite ear. So remember this it is seen in unilateral sensory hearing loss. There is also a modified Rennie's test it is used for routine purposes in this the patient is asked to compare the sound intensities of the tuning fork while placing in front of the ear and over the mastoid process. So this is routinely used 